welcome. My name is Country Cowboy. Many of you may know me as DJ. Majority may know me as my government name, Daryl Joseph Edmund Jr. Um, whatever you may know me as, just understand that uh, you are in the right place at the right time. And uh, pretty much today, the overall message of what I want to accomplish in this specific section of this uh, course is why it's so, 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 so important. Like, honestly, it's honestly like the only thing that leveraged my success to the point to where it is now. Um, why, why it's pretty much so important to uh, have self-confidence? Because capturing the mind and being able to tell yourself that you're able to do something, even if you kind of know you can't, it's so much of a psychological trick that it really, really, really can elevate your success with your business. All right, so a little bit about myself, too, before we get started into why you need that, um, that self-confidence. I just want to kind of give you a background of who I am and why I am even qualified to tell you something like this, because my story um, ties a lot into self-confidence. So when I was in college, I started off in college. Now, I went to college on a baseball scholarship. It was partial. It wasn't a full thing. But um, I went to college and I had dreams of being a major league baseball player. So for those of you who know, you know, baseball pays a lot. And it was a great business model for me as a, a 19, 20 year old. So I got there and my uh, dreams were crushed, literally. Um, I just flat out wasn't good enough for the coach, even though he recruited me. I guess the time span from when I went and when I actually started practicing with him, my abilities to do certain things deteriorated due to the fact that I was in college, I was having fun. I don't know what the case might have been, right? But my baseball career plummeted downhill. So I was forced to be a regular student on the college campus. So I started off at ground zero after everyone else. So I stopped playing baseball in my sophomore year. So basically what that really meant was that I just was a freshman while everybody was a sophomore because I didn't even get a chance to meet people. When you were an athlete at a college campus, there's no way that you meet like the regular. It's like an alien. You're like You eat, sleep, and practice. Those are the only three things you do in college as an athlete. So like I said, I was cut from the baseball team. I just flat out wasn't good. My confidence was an all-time low. It was at an all-time low. I, I, I promise you. I kid you not, right? So fast forward a little bit. I started a fitness class because I knew that I needed to A, get in shape, and I knew the benefits of you know being uh, in shape and just having health as one of the top priorities in my life. I understood it, but it became, it got to the point to where it was actually time to go and do the fitness course. I mean, the fitness class outside, like you talk about things all day, but it comes to the time to where it comes to point. It comes to the point to where you actually have to go do these things. Like you talk about doing this stuff every day and you're like, man, I'm going to get up out there. I'm going to go start my business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But the moment where it's actually time to get up and go is coming shortly. So um, as you continue to watch this to the end, you'll definitely understand where I'm going with this. I got to the point to where I literally had to get up and go outside to teach the course. And not a course. It was more so of a fitness class at that point. But there was only one thing holding me back at that point. Um, it's, it was either go outside or stay in the house and make an excuse of why I couldn't go. I knew I had about two to three friends out there. Um, that, that, that were waiting on me. They was close friends too. And I could have easily uh, came up with an excuse about why I couldn't have made it outside to work out with them. But I looked myself in the mirror and I told myself these words, you are the best. You can do this, right? And as corny as it cliche as it may sound, what I was doing to myself was building my self-confidence. These are the type of things that you can transfer over to building your course, your business. These are the type of things that you can transfer over to building your business and making it run like an oil machine. There were other times in my life, and that was just the very beginning where I met self-confidence face to face, and I knew that I had to get over this hump in order to get to the next step. Remember, I told you, I stopped playing baseball, so I didn't know what to do. I was literally just trying a whole bunch of stuff, and fitness was one of them. But after that fitness course, I'll tell you what happened. I beat confidence the first time. I came to encounter it again face-to-face -face with self-confidence. And this time, I was uh, on campus at 
school again, and it was an opportunity for me to like get on the microphone and talk to a bunch of people. Now, this is a very important skill, being able to speak and stuff like that. You could definitely use that to make money. But my thing was, my friend was the DJ, and he asked me, did I want to speak on the microphone? And I was very shy. But I have remembered the last time that I was in a situation like this, all I did was tell myself in my head, you can do this, you are the best, right? I told myself those words again, and of course it took a little bit longer for me to believe that because it was like actually talking in front of people. You know, you go through this phase at first where you think your voice sounds weird and stuff like that, but self-confidence wipes all of that out, right? After I told myself that I could do it, I'm the best, I literally picked up the microphone and people started accepting my voice to be a normal voice that comes through their ear on college campuses. I took that, leveraged it, and really made a lot of business connections. To this day, I'm talking to millionaires and doing business with millionaires, not because I have the skill, not because I'm a very talented individual, it's not because I can code stuff and I understand Instagram to a high uh, capacity and things of that nature, which are all valuable tools. The reason why I believe that the business is running as well as it is and we pick up clients the way that we pick up clients is literally because of the self-confidence that each and every one of the people inside of this camp has. It's more so of a thing that you recognize but you can't really explain. You can't put words on it. It's a thing. Self-confidence is literally just something that when you do pick it up, I tell you, when you do pick up self-confidence, it's literally going to be the game changer of your business. It'll help you close so many different deals. I can't, ex- I-, I can't stress enough how much self-confidence that you need if you want to go talk to individuals and you expect them to give you their money out of their pocket, their cold, hard money. The only people that individuals want to pay is a person who has self-confidence. So when you really sit back and just think about like how much self-confidence you need, right? Or not how much self-confidence you need. When you really sit back and just think about how self-confidence really ties into business and life in general, you'll begin to realize that it's a very, very, very important tool. So I just want everybody watching this to understand when building your business, please understand that one of the most important things is to instill self-confidence within yourself. Your, your teammates, your, 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 your employees, everybody, we all need to believe that we truly are the best. And of course, there will be a moment in your career where you aren't the best. But let me just give you a little secret. When you believe that you are, it just happens. Okay? So that's my gym. And I just want everybody to enjoy the rest of this course. Take action. Let's party.